Hey everyone, Samma from PlantNet. Today we will be testing two groups of soil, well one potting mix and one soil sample um, for its pH level. So I'm going to start off with the known. This is azalea mix that we've used for the blueberries in our recent blueberry potting up um, video. So all you need to do is separate a little sample. I'm just going to take the bark out, I don't really need to measure the bark. And you get your pH test kit, there's a liquid and there's a powder. You start off with the liquid and I'm just going to do a little bit of wetting here. And I might just use my trusty little stick to make sure that it's all together. Once you think that everything's all joined up and there's a little bit of a paste happening, you crack the powder out. So you can see that the powder has changed color or has taken up a color. So that's when you get your little chart out. So we're gonna compare it. So it's sitting somewhere between five and five and a half, which is exactly what we need for blueberries. So we'll move that aside. So I'm just gonna take the fine part of this soil sample, just to make it a bit easier for me and I'll add my liquid. Soil's a little bit hydrophobic, so we're gonna need to mix it in. Don't stress if your soil's hydrophobic. So you can see with this mixture that the powder has turned up a little bit darker, a little closer to six, six and a half. If you had um, fruit trees, this would be fine. Um, if it was any more acidic, so a lower number, you would need to increase the pH with lime. And if you had soil that was on the more alkaline, so it turns up a purple, then you would need to decrease the pH with sulfur. So that's a really quick how to test your soil. Um, for more information on what this means for your fruit trees, head to www.plantnet.com.au. Cheers.